Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. This video is designed to be an additional video to a tutorial video I had already done to get your Ponagachi online using Windows PowerShell. In that video, it did have a few issues that I wanted to address. What I have gone ahead and done is to remove any chance of pre-existing configurations. I am using a brand new Windows installation with very little software installed. With that, Let's go ahead and test a few things before we begin. The first thing you need to do is have your Ponagachi plugged into the USB data port properly and make sure you can ping it. Once we have a verified ping, we want to make sure we can SSH into the device. Okay, now that I know I can SSH into the device, I'm going to go ahead and exit. And I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Now what we need to do is download a PowerShell script. I will provide this link in the description box below. All you need to do is come to this script, click on this download raw file, Select Keep if this shows up. Minimize your browser. So we're going to come over here. We're going to type PowerShell. Right click on it. Run as administrator. Select Yes. Now this is going to put us in C backslash Windows System 32. That is not where the script was saved. This is the wrong directory. We can get to the main directory by doing cd backslash. From here, we're going to do cd c colon backslash users and I just did that by tabbing. So that will be the name of your computer. This one just happens to be called Cybercat Lab. So whatever the name of your computer is And then I want to go to Downloads. Now I'm in the Downloads folder. This is where the script is saved. If you type LS, you can see Win Connection Share PS1 is listed in this folder. This is where we need to be. So let's go ahead and clear the screen. The next thing we need to do is run our commands. I'm going to make this window just a little smaller. This will be the first command we're going to run. You can paste just by right clicking. Go ahead and enter. We can see the internet connection sharing subnet has been updated. A reboot of Windows is required. I'm going to go ahead and ignore that. You might have to restart if it doesn't work for you. Go ahead and paste this. Please select your main Ethernet adapter with Internet access. So that's going to be my Wi-Fi adapter. That's the one that has the Internet access currently, which leaves just the RNDIS gadget or number two. We can see enabled Internet connection sharing. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to close this. SSH back to the Pi. Okay, if we type ping.google.com, we should now have a connection. 
Now, again, if this doesn't work for you after you have run this top script, go ahead and reboot and then try to run the second script. Hopefully this video clears up some of the lack of explanation I provided in the original video and actually gets you up and running properly. As always, thank you for watching and until then I will see you in the next one.